what's the best way to start an ESL class? I don't know, but these are the three ways in which I like to start my class. One of the ways which is much better for a smaller class and not uh, the big classes I currently work with is everyone has to stand up and make a line and answer a question in English, of course. Uh, this way everyone gets to speak English straight away. The first thing they do in the lesson is answer a question and they've spoken some form of English straight away. So everyone has spoken English in that lesson. A great way, always better with small classes. Another way I like to start a class is like I like to surprise my students with a small little game. And this works brilliantly the first time you do it because the students are very unprepared. You pull a random picture on the, on the TV or you show them a random picture. Hopefully it's got lots of different image, like lots of different animals or lots of different food in this image. And then you take it away and you say, okay, what was in the picture? What did you see? And they have to like instantly kind of remember what it was that was in the picture. And this works brilliantly the first time because students are so unprepared for it. Like they wasn't expecting it, but as you play it more and more, the students are like trying to remember stuff because they know exactly what's going to happen. And, like, and uh, there are some great PPTs that have uh, like time viewing for this. So you can just put a picture and they can see the countdown uh, running down just before the picture disappears. And it's like, uh, what did you guys see? You know, they got used the correct sentence. I saw, uh, I saw Anne and to uh, answer the question. But the best way in which I start probably about 90% of my lessons is with a song. Songs are fantastic for all ages. Though a lot of people struggle with songs because it's like, well, what songs do you do? Right? With the younger kids, there's so many, so many songs uh, for kindergarten, grades one, grade two. But once your kids start getting better at English, you're like, well, what songs are there? What songs can you learn? And the great thing is there's just any song. They can learn any song that's appropriate. So I had this problem with, uh, I work in an international school and uh, teach grade three and that English is slightly better than your average grade, grade three public school students. So I spent ages, what should I do? And I finally came across all the Disney songs. So Let It Go, uh, How Far Will I Go From Moana, like these songs are, these films are immensely popular. The students know these films and they really enjoy learning these songs. Even teenagers enjoy learning these songs. And on um, YouTube, they've got lots of uh, great videos which have the lyrics as well as the video. So the kids can like, it's like a sing-along, the sing-along versions of these songs are on there. Uh, you can find a version where it's just the music without the, the actual song, so you can only hear the students singing. They've just got the music playing behind. There's so many ways you can do this, and it really is the best way, in my opinion, to start the class for all ages. And if they you think they're getting, like, they're not really into the Disney songs, then there are other great songs, like Lemon Tree. Uh, I taught Lemon Tree to my grade threes. And the, student, uh, the student's parents were so amazed. They were like, oh my God, my kid can sing Lemon Tree in grade three. Uh, so much more advanced than they even realized. And uh, another great thing about it is that you can sell it for homework. And that means it's not homework you have to mark. Uh, it's homework that the parents can easily make sure the kids are kind of learning. The song is right there for them to sing along with. Starting an ESL class, very important to set the, the mood of the lesson, the tone of the lesson, and how you intend to go on. So guys, let me know how you uh, start your classes down below. Really appreciate that if you would let me know the, what you consider a really good way to start your class, because there's no best way, there's just lots of really good ways. So also, this is going to be the last ESL video I upload. Unfortunately, I've not really been getting the numbers uh, the views that I was hoping for this, so I'm going to slightly change things around on the channel and this is going to be the last ESL video I upload. Unless like some point in the future these videos suddenly like go crazy and then I'll come back and do, do more videos, ESL videos. Uh, but as for now, uh, this will be my last ESL video. I uh, hope this helps. Like uh, starting the class is really difficult, especially for new teachers. So it, I hope these three examples help you 
start your class. That's all from me for this week. As they say in China, bye bye.